Hey, what's going on, everyone? So we're back in the old office. <laughs> Soon to be the old office. It is the only office right now. But uh, yeah, Kathy has a bins haul to show us. You were able to go to the bins and... Reese is up to his old He's up to <laughs> All right, go lay down. You'll get one after. Good point. Well, actually, we can just start. Yeah, just I found start this, rolling. This. It is a used dog bed, but, it, you know, it's not in bad shape or anything. Yeah. It has like a zipper, so I, it looks like I can just wash the top, which I will. I mean, they got this for the new house, like... We realize he's getting super old and he just needs to lay somewhere comfortable. So are you getting super old? I can find a few of these to put one on at least each level or <laughs> even in every room if I can find more stuff. Yeah, like you want to try it out, Reese? Go lay on it. Right here. Try it out. Sit. Good, good, good boy. boy. Yeah, you're good. All right. So that's that. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I believe he only weighs like a pound or two, so that was probably only a couple bucks. Yeah. And I actually found two of these. Um, I already put the other one on the chair. I thought I had two chairs last summer at Goodwill. I found like a nice outdoor, you know, the like tables the, and it's like the wicker that's not, that's like plasticky material. Yeah. Anyways, I thought I bought two of them, but I bought two tables and one chair. So anyways, I bought two of these for the chairs to have pads because they didn't have pads. But anyways, I only have one chair. So okay. this is a backup pad for when that one is ruined by weather. Or maybe we'll just happen across <laughs> another chair and we'll be able to make it a full set. True. And then yeah, I got these two things. So let's do the small best. All right, first. leave a comment how long you think <laughs> Reese is gonna stay on that bed in this he video. Might stay there, no? He might, I don't know. Oh it's a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> so I said I wasn't gonna like sell this kind of thing anymore, but these were in such good shape I couldn't leave them. Like, look at them. They basically like still look new. Yeah, we sold a similar pair, right? The Solomon. Yeah, look, it even has this still in it. Like the stickers like fully intact. Like the insides don't Ski look boots. like they've been really used, so. Um, I'm like heavy stuff at the bins. I don't know what they do, but they don't charge you like exactly per pound. So these, they charge me $8 flat, I guess. Yeah. So, $8, not bad. I'm sure I can get at least 50 maybe These more. metal toggles kind of... Yeah, I think these retail for like 500 bucks, so... Wow. I'm hoping for a minimum 50, more like 80 to 100 is what I'm really hoping okay. for, so... I think he does like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Uh, this, I'll probably list myself, or keep it for my kid. It's just a nice polo rough Lauren boys sweater um if i list that it's probably like 15 to 20. all right that, he, he's, he's gone <laughs> all right. Back in his old <laughs> let me know if you guys were right in the comments below <laughs> oh, that, like, he likes minutes. this one better look at that Good yeah <laughs> he's like what are you doing <laughs> i found another two-piece Anna anderson what uh, this one is not in great shape but i had to get it um it's darth vader it's got some cracking, which is pretty typical of a lot of these, especially if you like put them in the dryer and stuff. But yeah. Anyways, um, it weighs almost nothing, so I'm sure I can at least still get like fifteen dollars for this set. Okay. On that. Um, this is a new to me brand, but I could tell it was like nice quality, mostly based on just kind of like this, uh, this, so Alberto. I don't know. I could just tell it was nice quality. Yeah. Probably like the pockets. Like this kind of reminded me oh, of okay, um, yeah. Robert Graham or something. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Anyways, I don't know if it picks it up on camera. They are stained right yeah, here. Yeah, I can kind of see. So I'm going to try to wash them. Hope that comes out. But mostly I was like, if I, even if I just show you guys a new brand to look out for, I don't yeah. know. I don't think this sell through super high. I don't think it's a super common brand, but their website, it looks like these pants retail for like over 200. Okay. I can't remember if it was in US dollars though. So like, anyways, um, I was seeing pre-owned sold though for like 50, 60, so. Cool. Yeah, I might be able to get that if I can clean them up. Otherwise, I hopefully I taught you guys a new brand. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are just some Nike men's like swimming trunks. They are size small, so not great. I was thinking about making, starting like a little Play-Doh's bin to take once I fill it up. Right. I feel like they would probably take these. They love Nike and stuff like that. These are pretty basic, so um, very linty. I'd have to wash them. If I list them myself, probably 15 bucks or something. Got a few little onesies for what my once bought a child pen. That one's still new. Carters, Carters, Carters. 
they don't give you hardly anything for onesies, but these also weigh pretty much nothing. Nice. Um, this would go in my Play-Doh's bin. If I, if they don't take it and I have to list it myself, I'd probably get like 10 to 12 bucks just to Volcom tank. tank yeah. yeah, pretty basic. Um, these are nice men's foot joy shorts. So those are probably 25 or so, $25 yeah. out of those. So it's 34, nice stretchy performance material. They've got that stay tuck kind of, what is that called? That. It's like, a, yeah, know. like the rubber kind of keeps your shirt tucked in. Yeah, I don't know what that was for, but look fancy. Uh, these are just some airy little pajama shorts. I wish these were my size because I love these kind of thing, but um, their size extra small. They might be a hard sale. He's what? back <laughs> to that bed. <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm not getting any attention. Mark. He's like, I got two beds. Now I, I don't know which one to have. He's going to go back and forth a bunch of times. Um, this is a lucky brand. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. lucky brand. Leather belt. I did notice, you know, right here, it's like pulling up just a bit, but that's really the only part. It's pretty inexpensive. You know, I don't think this is even a pound, so it probably cost me a dollar. I figured I can at least get like 15. Yeah. Maybe a little more, we'll see. Excuse me, I, I had to sneeze. <laughs> so, I know, I'm, I'm like in this allergy. <laughs> attack state right weird, now but i got this for myself just so that i can do my own petty gears now was that one of those foot cheese grater thingies yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> yeah nah. that's like my favorite part of the petty gear um, so try it out um glove glove yeah uh, i did look it up just because i was like i don't think rollings is that great of gloves but yeah i think i can get 15 to 20 for it still it's in really good shape so yeah. I thought maybe we could use this at the new house. Just the towel hook. Okay. I don't know. It's pretty small. I don't know. I didn't open it to see what it like looks like. So it doesn't seem very big. It's, it's Delta. Not... I mean, Delta is a pretty decent yeah. name brand. So I figured I could sell it for a few bucks if we yeah. made it. Maybe laundry room to hang a towel. Something. <laughs> I'm sure we could use it somewhere. I don't necessarily know what this is. Maybe it's like a little water thing. What's the brand on it? It's the rough wear. So it's like the, it's like a very a dog? expensive dog stuff. So I oh. learned about this brand from um, Ben, Ready, Set, Resell. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was like, he got a ton of it at once and he, it was like selling out really fast. Uh, but I don't know what this is. I bet that's a portable water bowl. Water bowl. Okay, yeah. that's what I was thinking. I need to wash this, but. Yeah. This brand, definitely look out for it. Um, yeah. I mean, this weighs like literally nothing. So even if it's worth five bucks, I probably would have yeah. grabbed it. But yeah, definitely wanted to show you guys that. Water bowl or maybe food bowl. I don't know. Some, yeah. Something you know, like that. But... Something for those things. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not these. I don't know. I thought the kids maybe would want to play with these. Oh, those or... Spider-Man? Yeah, or you. Oh, uh, neat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks nice. So... They say 2012 on them. I know there's like a bazillion Spider-Man movies. That's all, yeah. about that. all I know about Spider-Man. <laughs> that there's a bazillion of them? Yeah. Okay, these are interesting. That's what's making the sound. Uh, okay. And I don't know how to work them or turn them off or... Yeah. But this is the brand. And I did look them up. Are these pet toys? Zoo or... pets? I don't know. These are hamsters. And... I think I can get at least like eight bucks a piece for them. Really? So yeah, I like grabbed them. I don't know if I'll put them in a lot or sell them individually. I noticed some were going for like 25 bucks. So like, I don't know which ones are special. Okay. So I mean, they have like things on their backs. So yeah, I've I don't... never seen these before. Yeah, me neither. But any like little toys, when I see a bunch of them, it, I'm just always curious. Cause like, especially this is probably, like, <laughs> you know, bins is like $1.69 a pound. These probably won't be even a pound total. So, three bucks or so for all of these. And if I could sell one for eight and the rest of them's just profit. So, yeah. I'm always looking up for stuff I can either bundle or something that I can get very cheap and then just make. I mean, I'm very happy to make eight bucks off of each of those. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Yeah, if anyone skips play with these, let me know <laughs> what they do or how I can work them. Like, I didn't. I don't understand, like, it seems like those ones that you pull back, but it's not working. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and it's like, read instructions for proper use, activation button. Yeah. Maybe their back is a button. Anyway, so we'll have to figure those out. Those are cool. I actually found this basket there and I'm gonna keep it for the new house, so. Cool. It's a really cute basket. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were doing that in my cart the whole time. I'm sure the people next to me were so annoying. <laughs> uh, all right. These I just got, got because they were like still sealed. I don't really know. Oh, some cedar boards, okay. Yeah. For grilling, oh, and then a- uh... Baking plank. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, I come know. on. I don't even know which one it I is know. at this point. I just hope Hopefully they're done. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest regret. <laughs> they're going in the closet. So, cedar plank grilling. Yeah. Yeah. That's some that's I some fancy cooking. I think I there. can get like 15 to 20 for this one. I didn't really see much about this one, but I don't know. Seems cool. Yeah. So, and he charged me he let me get these under dishware. Like I didn't put them with my dishes, but he pulled them out. And he's like, we like it when you separate all your stuff. <laughs> and I was like, You're like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, I thought I did. Like I, I separated my dishes and stuff. And then he like put those in there. <laughs> and then like he got this cash flow game and another game. And it's like, we give you a deal on that. I'm like, he's like, look at the board right there. I'm like reading the board. There's nothing about games on the board. So <laughs> come on. I mean, I'm thankful that he gave me a deal, but I'm just confused yeah. for next time. Like, I don't know what to put his and whatnot because like the linens used to be cheaper and now they're not so I don't know anyways he only charged me yeah so like both of these boards were like 316 total hmm. so like seven, 79 cents a pound on those yeah so I think the idea is yeah you just you basically it's like a baking sheet for the grill you put your fish fillet on there and it, it burns the cedar, hmm. kind of smokes it a little bit, and then you can serve it right on the board. So it's kind of like a one-time use. A one-time use. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> At least I think it is. That's weird. Like, yeah. Because I, I did see some sold. I don't know if it was this brand, but like this type of a thing for like 20 bucks. Who would pay 20 bucks yeah. to have a one-time use? I, I don't know. Fish is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyways, and then for these, yeah, these two games, they only charged me 69 cents each. For each game? Yeah. So nice. this one's new sealed. I didn't really see any comps. I think there was one listed on eBay for 25, none sold. Okay, how so about the kids know. will like that yeah. game even if? Like this kind of stuff, like some, I had some last year and like they never sold and I just took them for like white elephant gifts, so. Yeah. First case, I spent 69 cents on a white elephant gift. <laughs> And then, yeah, cash flow is always a great game. Right, and I thought I was going to be paying by pound, which is, this is like four pound game. It is a heavy game, um, yeah. But I was willing to pay eight bucks. I didn't even open it to see if it's, obviously there's no way I was going to be able to tell if it was right. all there at the bin. But I figured even if we just sell pieces Piece of it, it out. if it's not there, it's worth it. So, yeah. yeah. This game definitely has gone down in value, but I think it's still worth it. Out definitely for what, 60 cents, you said? Yeah. <laughs> so... Definitely worth that. I'm still probably willing to pay up to about 10 bucks or so for it. Nice. That is a good bow, though. But yeah, everything total that you're seeing is $108.30. <laughs> this was, like, as I was just waiting to check out in one of the bins by the register. It's um, Under Armour, the rock, Project Rock stuff. Oh, okay. The Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. So, it's immense. I think it's men's. Small. A sleeveless hoodie? Yeah, so I still think I can get about $25 for that. Um, yeah, this line of the Under Armour stuff does really well. The Seltzer's like over 100% on that stuff. Very nice. Yep. This is like a Honda jacket. Okay, Honda. so like a motorcycle yeah. jacket? Yeah. I, I can get at least Gold 50, wing? 50 bucks for it. Um, is this men's or women? <laughs> I can't ever remember that. That's men's, right? Men's zip? No. No, that's. Women's I think that's a women's zip. Okay, that makes sense because it says yeah. W, so maybe that's large. Large women. women. So, yeah, it has this like liner that pops in and out, the quilted that, liner. Yeah. So. It seems like a nice jacket. I didn't notice any stings or snags or anything like that. I don't know too much about motorcycles, but I feel like Goldwing is yeah. one of the nicer models. It has like cool zipper on the back or, yeah, to like have the venting. venting. Pretty nice. Cool Did you say it might be vintage or? Uh, I don't know if it's vintage. No, we'll have, to, we'll have to look into that. Yeah. Like the first hour at the bins, I only had a few things in my car and I was like about to give up. But I was like, at least I had that jacket. I was like, I guess my hour was worth it. But yeah. 
then the, the next couple hours they were like switching all the bins so fast like you couldn't even they would put the clothes and then the hard goods and i couldn't even go to one before they switched it again yeah so. It's like almost like that's too good of a problem, right? Yeah. So uh, this I also found like as I was about to check out. Uh, I wouldn't normally buy this kind of stuff, but it's been pricing, and it looks like it. It seems like it's new without tag. Like the fleece is, doesn't seem like it's been washed or anything. Okay. So Colorado Avalanche. It's not like a cool brand or anything. It's just fanatic. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this like at a normal thrift store, but I still think I can get probably fifteen or twenty out of it. So. Nice. Uh, I did get a few dishes. This is Fiesta Wear. Oh. Yeah. Um, I heard that's very collectible. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, uh, and they left part of the sticker on, which it says the color, which I think is persimmon. Persimmon, okay. Um, yeah, and it says what it is, oval platter. So, that's useful information. A persimmon oval, <laughs> oval platter. Yeah. So, uh, I think I could maybe get like 20 bucks for it if I was looking at comps right, but there wasn't a ton of that color. Nice. And this is old English stuff for Shire wear. So not the same no, that you got in the last bin. No, but it kind of looks like it almost, huh? But yeah, there was only one of these, and then when I was looking up comps, it seemed like most people had only one. Like it almost looked oh. like the ones that they like put display. on display. Display, you know? okay. And it was weird because like some are going for like 10, some are going for like 30. So I think it's more about like what's on it. Yeah, I the didn't subject see matter. This exact one. This says Governor's Palace, Williamsburg, Virginia. So. Okay. Anyways. We'll, yeah. we'll take a swing at it. I figured that was good enough. This I just thought was cute. It just says Rise and Shine. It's like a big mug. Uh, it's probably just like from a Christian bookstore or something. It's not like a brand name that I would know of. But. Okay. Maybe like 10 to 15 on that. And then a little Harry Potter mug. This is modern gourmet food stoneware. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like a my, cauldron. Yeah, Hogwarts litter, so. Cool. That was cute, yeah. So like those dishwares was 474 for all four of those pieces, so. Oh, yeah. And not too bad. Uh -huh. Got some more clothes. Um, figured somebody would probably want this. Nice. Yeah. Ruth RBG. Yeah. It's like a size small. It doesn't, it feels like it hasn't really been washed or worn. Um, got this Vans. This is cute. It has a backside too. Little Yeti Little Vans. Yeti. That's cool. Have a Vanstastic holiday. <laughs> what size is that? Double X. It looks like an employee made the artwork. That's cute. An employee of Vans? Yeah. Neat. Yeah. That's a cool piece. Probably 10 to 15 bucks, nothing crazy. I loved this. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I just like this kind of stuff. Yeah? It kind of matches this rug. So, Chunky, what would you call that? Tapestry? Yeah. So, I don't know if we can I wonder put if it it's... in the new house, wherever we put this rug. <laughs> but This rug here? Yeah. Does it I go with like it? it kind of goes. Yeah. A little... So, otherwise, I, I can list it if it doesn't fit anywhere, but I do like these kinds of things. Yeah. And we don't really have much things to hang on the wall. I know. <laughs> we have a lot I more wall space. I don't want a lot. Like, I'm pretty minimalist. Uh, these I kind of found in the go back thing, which I dropped this one. And, <laughs> like, I feel like I broke the plastic, so now I don't know if it's worth anything, uh. but I don't even know what they are. It seems like there's some sort of face cleaner, but. The sell through on both, I want to say, was over 100% and 10 to 15 bucks a piece they were going to go for. So. Okay. But yeah, just always kind of look for that kind of stuff. If it's sealed, just like check. I, I would say the barcodes on make them. sure. Um, it's not expired. Not expired or, or uh, alcohol. Oh. Alcohol or aerosol. You want to make sure it's not combustible if you're going to do priority shipping. Because if, it, if it's combustible, you have to do ground only, which. We still haven't looked into the whole ground advantage yeah. <laughs> of the replacement for first that class, but I don't think that was combustible, though. so I think you're safe. But yeah. just make sure if you guys are getting any kind of fragrances or anything like that, make sure there's no combustion possible. Yeah. Uh, this is a Champion Reverse Weave Charles Stain College sweater. I didn't really see any stains, although there's probably one because it's such a light color. 
Yeah. I mean, a little dingy on the sleeves, I guess. That's pretty typical. Yeah, it is actually I see a probably. Stain there, yeah. Which I it, think is fine. Like, yeah. I, I did look up comps on these, and I still saw some selling for like thirty, and they looked pretty rough. So, problem with this one is the size tag is super faded. That mm. I cannot make it up. So. Yeah, I'll just have to go by measurements on that one. I mean, I would guess it's probably like a small, like yeah. an adult small or medium, so. A vintage medium, yeah. vintage small, yeah. Um, I do need to like at least wipe this down a little, but I thought it was a cool polar rough horn hat. Okay. Um, I can't really like wash it in the dishwasher or anything because this seems to be leather. Oh yeah. But it definitely at least needs wiped down, so. Yeah, probably 10 to 15 bucks. Um, this is the stuff I just like finding at the bins. Oh, another one of yeah. these? Like Irish sweaters. Net, yeah. I mean, this, it doesn't like smell bad, but I definitely could probably use a wash, but it says hand wash, which I'm not doing that. So, <laughs> um, so what is it? An Irish traditional hand in it yeah. garment made in Ireland. It's another thing with no size, so we'll have to go by measurements, which are the things that end up in my death pile yeah. but I also love these sweaters so I'm gonna list it I mean I, I would say no less than 30 30 to 50 probably on that yeah um, I just got this because it said jeep on it and I don't know what it is but it weighs almost nothing okay it just seems like a little I wonder if that's maybe where the papers in yeah the papers are like the owner's manual to yeah. a jeep maybe so I'm sure somebody will buy that for a few bucks <laughs> Um, this is Talbot's, but I feel like anything that's like American flag is going to sell. There's a moth flying around. <laughs> Great. Um, Champion American flag. Oh, no. Talbot's. <laughs> Talbot's. It's a linen cotton blend, so. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't just pick up any Talbot sweater probably, but yeah. if it's a good material and this was basically just based on style or that it was an yeah. American flag. <laughs> And there's no, it doesn't look like it's bleeding or anything like that. No, I tried to look it over. I think that little snag was the biggest flaw yeah. I saw. Looks good. A bar, bar mat. Bar mat? Yeah. Cup Probably thingy. Uh, Johnny Walker. Bucks or something. Probably nothing crazy. But what was the other one we saw? That one sold the fire whiskey or something? Oh, uh, yeah. Fireball? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was. That's all fast for yeah. 20 bucks, but that's a more known. I mean, Johnny Walker. Uh, I, I don't know. Heard of it. <laughs> we're, we're not. <laughs> we're not very. Uh, yeah. So alcohols. I don't know what this is, but I swear I seen Kayla homeschool picker pick this up at a garage sale in one of her recent videos. Oh yeah, I feel like guy. I saw that. It so it's case. a little BB8. But I don't eight. know if it's like has its pieces or what it does or. I'll have to check that out. I don't see how his head sticks on him. Yeah, I mean this looks pretty beat is, up. Yeah. But hey, maybe even the cases where something of that's not, I don't know. I mean, it might be intentionally beat up. This? Yeah. It's like someone scratched it, but. Yeah. So it's called the Sphero, Star Wars Sphero. Oh, that's like, um, the kid, the kid's school has those, the Sphero um, robots. What's that called? STEM? Okay. Steam kind of thing. Like a little robot you can program to do things. Yeah, we'll have to try to. I mean, we probably have the app on the iPad. and We'll have to check it out. In my mind, the case was worth something alone if, like, the other thing is it. So. Okay. Or just the parts. So. I don't know. I know if it says Star Wars, I should probably get it. Yeah. Um, and I did get an okay amount of shoes today. Um, Chemex snow boots are always good. Probably 25 to 30 on those. Um, this is just Oshkosh. I don't know how much these weighed. I don't know if like, I was gonna take these to once upon a child, but that might not be worth it because I don't know how much they'd give me versus 12 ounces. So probably paid a dollar. They'd probably sell these for like 10 or 12. So I'd probably make a buck or two. Yeah. I, guess I could probably sell them on my own for 10, maybe 15 at the most. They're like youth three, really good shape, but. Okay. So I don't know. Um, these are dance. Oh, I've never really. Sold like a, kind of like a plastic, Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Rubber or plastic. Yeah, I don't like all these marks are gonna come off, but I thought they were interesting enough to grab. They're probably worth something. Um, do you 
probably yes. worth something. <laughs> these are just Target sandals. Honestly, Play-Dohs might take these. They like Target stuff. That's like fairly Trendy. current, yeah, yeah, which these are. So I might take them there. If not, probably like just 10 bucks or something on Posh. Oh, these are Lucky Brand. Yeah, Lucky Brand, like a little moccasin. Really good shape, size 10, women's. Cool. Probably 20 bucks or something out of those. Got some Olakai flip-flops, women's eight. Not bad, they're a little dusty, and I don't think I can wash them because I feel like this would mess up, but. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're good. These are like an older model of Etonic, like golf shoes, but I feel like the style is cute. Um, yeah. I don't know, what, what would you, what is that called? I don't know. I feel like this white and black thing has a name, but I can't remember. It's not wing. It always right? makes me think of like schoolgirl, but mm. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. These actually had the box, but I left the box because I didn't want to pay for the weight, but also the box was pretty dinged up. But I took a picture of it to like see the model name and everything. Okay. So, I mean, for the, you're probably going to average out your cost of all this yeah. stuff. It's probably like two bucks yeah. or less, right? So. And I think these are at least 20, maybe up to 30. Yeah. Well, these are just some reef flip flops, really good shape, probably 15 or so on those. Um, this is a brand I never heard of, but I felt like they were a nice shoe. They're called Wanda Panda. They said Wanda made in Panda. Spain, which a lot of Spain shoes, made in Spain shoes do pretty well. They remind me of a pair I sold recently that was a new to me brand, and those sold fast for a lot of money. I did kind of look up comps, but there wasn't a lot. Yeah. So, I don't know. Hoping for at least 30, probably. Hey, worth a shot. Yeah. That's what the bins is all about. You try new things, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hope to get some big yeah. <laughs> treasures. Um, these are men's Vasque Gore-Tex boots. Okay. Um, it's a good brand of boot to look out for. No, it's not separate. It's just dirt. I was like, I've already, I did this, like, a whole bunch to them. <laughs> Their insoles are not the original, but. Leave them, um, Dr. Scholl's insoles. Hey. Or sell without. So, anyways, I mean, these boots usually go for like 40 to 50 bucks. Yeah. Maybe a little less, being that they don't have their real insoles, but they are Gore Tex, so that's cool. That is cool. Um, yeah. And then, got some random things. These like little dental, <laughs> dental things. Um, I think I can sell this for like at least around ten dollars, but free shipping. Okay. Shipping for like three. Is four that bucks. one of those discontinued kind of things, or? Uh, I don't know if it's discontinued. I feel like if it was discontinued, it'd be even more. But okay. Maybe just harder to find these right. days. The sell through seemed really good on this, so I just scanned it and yeah. Um, so I'll probably profit around five bucks off that. Nice. Um, this is Norwex, which is expensive cleaning stuff. This says optic scarf. I don't know what that is. Glasses um, cleaner? I mean, I am obviously optic. <laughs> it's funny, I'm like reading. Um, cleans and buffs without scratching. Eyewear, phones, computers, cameras, so. Okay, lenses of yeah, all kinds. Yeah, I did look this up just because, well, I knew Norwex stuff costs a lot of money and people are like super into it, but I've never owned anything of it. So I think this might be like a $15 thing too. Wow. And like, this is my favorite stuff to find that costs like literally yeah. nothing. Yeah. And like this? And this is a Lisa Frank Vin vintage. Is it vintage? I don't know. How do you date a pencil? It says made in China, which makes me feel like it's not vintage, but uh -huh. I feel like when I was looking it up that people were calling it vintage, so I don't know. But yeah, this is its original eraser. Nice. And it is a Halloween theme, so. Yeah. Halloween's coming up. I think it might, I mean, this one has seven hundred dollars like seven to 10 bucks. Seven to 10 bucks? No, <laughs> that was way off. <laughs> pretty good for a pencil. Nice. Um, yeah. And then a couple last shoes were these Uggs. Okay. Is that? That's supposed to be like that. They have like a little side zipper. I was like, wait a minute. It's like, but that's just how it just is. Just like some access. I guess. Make it easier to put on. Or something. So, yeah, these are, I mean, they're in good shape. A little, they could use some toe buffing, but otherwise, heels are great. And they're look like a cool model, yeah. I didn't look up comps, but I want to say 50 bucks. Cool. And last thing was also Uggs. So these two last two, I was like, you know, I was sorting my cart anyways, pretty much till the last minute again, but I had these two unmatched in my cart. 
And then as like they were like at the end of the day, all the employees are like going around. Is this anyone's card? Because people like ditch their cards or yeah, if they don't want to like put stuff back or they decide they don't want stuff, they just leave their card there. Right. So the employees are like, does anyone's cards? And then I like see these two in two separate cards, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> so the employees are about to throw them all back, and I'm like, yes, I found my matches. So, so yeah, these are really cute. These these are actually size size, but he doesn't need any more shoes. So. <laughs> <laughs> These little ones will probably sell for like thirty bucks. Thirty, so. yeah. yeah. Sweet. That was pretty decent. Yeah, that's a, yeah, pretty decent. I mean, you were there. Bucks. I mean, honestly, the hundred bucks. Those ski boots might get close to that. Like, probably these two boots would get me my hundred bucks back, and then yeah. everything else is profit. So. Sweet. Definitely worth <laughs> the three, four hours. Yeah, total with checkout and everything, three and a half. Hours. Three and a half hours. You only had to like. I, I like the stuff we got for our home too. We got Risa bed. Yeah. We got some pads for the outdoor stuff. That really, that basket too. Yeah. This little wall hanging if it works out. <laughs> I'm like really looking hard for stuff for the new house because we yeah. need some things. <laughs> we do need some things. Anyway, guys, it is late here. We wanted to get this out for you guys, but that's gonna do it for this haul. You going back to the bins again? Yes. You've had good luck the past couple times. I know. But, like, I did photograph some of the stuff from the last poem. Yeah. I was kind of planning not to list till August, but I'll do it just a little bit here and there. Yeah. But you can see we have a lot of stuff to get through. Yeah. So I do want to keep going to the bins, but I got to list more if I'm going to do that. So. Yep. I'm going to be painting more so we can move in. Yeah. And then move all this stuff over to that the new place. We feel better. We'll have more space over there, so... <laughs> Then we can get more stuff and fill that space up. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate you so much, but that's going to do it for this one. We'll see you next time.